Pew! Good evening and welcome to it. This is Chess and Wine coming back reporting on the SA close currently ongoing. They are currently on round 8 of 11 rounds. We'll be speaking today, reporting to you for round 5, 6, 7 and the currently ongoing 8. And let's see how things are going because things are, are looking very exciting. Honestly, this is um, eh, there's a whole lot that's happening. <laughs> I cannot believe my eyes. This is um, this is anybody's tournament. I tell you, all of the players are in their top form. Well, except maybe one or two from each section. But <laughs> it's definitely something very interesting to look after. The currently ongoing games, as I see them. In round eight but obviously how we got to here we'll come back to it in round eight of the open section i see mguni jacob faces michael simpson and uh daniel barish faces jan kasten and uh, caleb leverton just drew with calvin classen so the few masters drew and then uh, the next board it's what the international master is playing against miaster shelton and we see daniel cordry playing against kumalo keith with Mfazwe Ludo playing against Banele Mango. That is obviously in the open section, but in the ladies' section, things as they stand. And I just say, in the ladies' section, I'm waiting for the game between Chelsea and, um, and, 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 no, 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 and Chelsea. I don't know how that might end. It might be a draw game because as it is with uh, most of the stronger players. But yeah, so within them, um, in round eight, we see uh, Jesse February playing against Jacqui Grobler, and Zoll Lapshu playing against Helen Rottenbach. And there's uh, Joya Imkita playing against um, Imkita Joya playing against Charlize Van Zayl and uh, Bea Van Zayl playing against Nell Haley. We also see in the next board uh, Robin um, uh, Klassen playing against uh, um, uh, uh, Chloe Badenos and uh, Chisomo Boshoma plays Davida Strong. They call it the Battle of the Bujanali Yens, right? <laughs> okay, and again, interestingly, before we even get to how everybody got to where they are, their standings right now in the open section at number one with the four, with the score of 5.5 .5 points out of the eight. Is it out of the eight games played? Out of the seven, I don't think the, eight, the eighth one has already been taken into account. So out of the eight, out of the seven games, as Daniel Barish. Fidel Master Daniel Barish is on 5.5 .5 points and is followed by Fidel Master Caleb Leverton, who's also, who's also who's on 5 points. And then number 3 is Jacob Mguni, who's on 4 points. Another 4 points for Calvin Klassen, who's uh, Fidel Master Calvin Klassen, who was a 4 points. And followed by Watu Kobesa at number 5 with 3.5 points. Manila Mango is at 3.5 points as well, as well as uh, Miesta Charlton. Ah. Uh, as well as Miaster Charlton and Jan Kasten. So after them is Daniel Cordry with three points, uh, Michael Simpson with three points, and Keith Kumala is on two and a half points, and Lutum Fazwe with only one point. It's a good thing that he's not on zero anymore. But how did he get that one? Should be very interesting. <laughs> so yeah, and apparently remember that the only the only players needed is are the top five performers in this. They're the ones that are going to be our Olympia team representing South Africa at the Olympians. Whoa. <laughs> All right. So in the ladies section, in the top five, and then the, um, the standings currently after round seven, yes, there's follows at number one. It is uh, Women International Suggest in February with six and a half points mm. out of seven. Just one draw. Followed by Chalice Van Zayl with six points out of seven. Just two draws. And in number three is uh, Chloe Badenhost with five points. And number four is Robin Klassen with four points. Nail Haley is at number five with three and a half points. Jack Grabler is at number six with three points. Followed by Helen Rottenbach, who's also on three points. Um, Chisoma Boshoma is at number eight with 2.5 points. With uh, Davida Strong following right behind with two and a half points. As well as Joya Imkita, also with five points. Anzel Lapshu is at uh, two points at number 11. And at number 12, it's Bayer Van Zale with one and a half points. Current standings. Now, let's go back and see the, um, the results for the previous round. So, we saw that in round... <laughs> Let me just go back to round five quickly of both sections and see how things went, how things went down. So, in round five, we saw Jacque Grobler winning again, or losing, in fact, against Chloe Badenhost, the women feeder master Chloe Badenhost. And then round two, and sorry, in the next board, it was uh, Davida Strong losing to Nail Haley. And the next board in round five, it was Charlize Van Zayn winning against Chisomo Boshima. 
and um, uh, Helen Robin, Helen, sorry, Helen Rottenbach and Robin, uh, Robin Klassen, sorry, uh, played a draw. And uh, Jesse Fabry wins against uh, Bayer Van Zyl and Anzel Lapscher, Lapscher <laughs> plays a, um, a, a draw with Imkita Joya. Ooh. Yeah, man. And um, let's see quickly in the next round. So in round six of this very, sec very section, <laughs> hey, things are very interesting here. So in round six of this very section, um, in the first board, it was Anzel drawing again now with Jacqui Grabler. See the draws, they just keep coming, keep piling up. And the next board, it was um, Jesse February winning against Imkita Joya. And the next board, it was a draw between Joya, Bea Van Zale and Helen Rottenberg. And the next board, Women International Master Charlize Van Zale wins against Robin Klassen. And uh, the next board, it was uh, Chisomo losing now to Neil Haley. And David Strong losing to Chloe Bernas. Are we not in the same point, the same round that we were on just now, now, now? Okay, so that was round six. Yes. Now going on to round seven, how things went down in round seven. I'm going to try and give you screenshots of all of the rounds so you can see for yourself. In round seven, David Strong wins against Jacque Grabner. Okay, David. And then in the next board, Chisomo Poshima draws against Chloe Badenhost. Very good draw for um, Chisomo. Chloe is very good. And then there's a draw again between Nail Haley, Nell Haley and Klassen Robin, Julianne. And then, and then in the next board, Charlize wins against uh, Bea Van Zayl. Oh, in the next board again, we see Imkita Joya losing to Helen Rotenberg. And a draw between Anzal Lapsher and Jesse Fabry, both women international masters. Okay, so how many draws are... Oh, is this Jesse's first draw? And Charlie's only has two draws. And that is how they got to the numbers that they're on right now. So yeah, the top three players you've seen. Let me just quickly go back to the open section and let's see together. Because, hey. In the open section in round five... Things were happening pretty scandalously. Ah, and I'm just saying scandalously because there are some some events, some games that are just making me question chairs or question people's play in, in their practice. So yeah, um, in round five, yes, in round five of the open section, Marcus Simpson wins against Keith Kumalo. Master Charlton loses against Master against Banele Mango. Luton Faza loses against Klassen, Kevin Klassen. Daniel Koji plays a draw with Jan Kasten. And Watu Kobese loses to Jacob Mguni. <laughs> and we see a drop between Daniel Barish and Caleb Leverton. Caleb is... Yo, I can't be... Let me, not, let me not speak too much on the boy. He hasn't lost a single game to this point. Him and Daniel Barish are like, hey... Yeah, ne? I like the, the only two players that seem that seemingly seem very much well prepared. Who's gonna stop them? Who's gonna stop them, huh? Oh, okay. So now there's Michael Simpson in round seven. Is that round six? Yes, we're in round six. In round six, Michael Simpson loses to Freedom Master Daniel Barish. Yo, the title is the same, but the strength is not. <laughs> okay, and again, there's a draw in the next board between Caleb Leverton and uh, Jacob Mguni. And the draw again between Watu Kovese and Jan Kasten, the IMs. And then and there's a draw between Calvin Klassen and Daniel Cordry. I am in an FM. And Luton Fazu loses once again to Charlton Miasta. I mean, there's so many losses reported for Luton. And then the next board is a drop between Keith Kumalo and Vanille Mango. Round seven. Let us see. <laughs> No, because it's, it's something that happened here in round seven that kind of made me recall. Banele Mango loses to Michael Simpson. <laughs> that is in the first board. Crazy. Keith Kumalo loses to Luton Faso. You see there's a difference now. Fine, the losses, the, the, Banele's loss against, Lut, against, against Michael Simpson makes sense because you can see the strength of the players, both of them. I mean, Simpson is all, also, yeah, at that, perform, at, at, at that level, right? But again, obviously, the game was played out very much complicatedly. I mean, if you tried to follow it, you would have seen that, hey, yeah. 
maybe it was a tactical error or whatever, but losers, losers, losers are losers. Are people losing the, in the way they lose. But yeah, in the next board, Luton Fast with the weakest link, the lowest rated player in the tournament wins against Keith Kumalo. Keith, what happened? Ooh, that, that was a crazy one. No, honestly. Now we're expecting that at least he would get a draw from somebody and he goes and he gets a full point against Keith Kumalo. Hey, Keith, you better come back from this one. Hey, it's going to be tough for some players. But, hey, that's what it is. We'll see. Luto, maybe you can secure another win against another strong player. We, wa we want to we see. He's currently playing Manila Mango. <laughs> maybe someone is helping him prep. Hey, yeah. yeah. Anyways, Mr. Charlton wins against... Mr. Charlton wins against Daniel Caudry. In a game that happened, that, that was played out, and it seemed like uh, the whole time Daniel Caudry was up. And at some point, he was seven moves from checkmate. And then he goes and he plays a very funny check with the Rook that loses him the mating sequence. And now he has to be the one that's running away. My God. And the boy just took that, just took control of the game from then on and he had to resign. There was a checkmate coming in a few moves. But wow. Miasta Charlton beats Daniel Caudry. Whew. All right. And then the next board is a drop between Watikov Essay and Calvin Klaassen. And now Caleb Leverton. Round seven is a round. It's a crazy round. I am Jan Kasten loses to the 13-year-old feeder master Caleb Leverton. Wow. And I'm thinking, I'm listening. I'm hearing people saying that this was a draw. It was drawish. It was drawish. And then, boom. Caleb just pulled a Kasten. A, a Carlson on Kasten. He, he pulled a Carlson on Kasten and just kind of twisted things and made the... Hey! Yeah, man. Yeah, 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 man. Yo! On the next board, we see Daniel Barish winning against Jacob Dumisa Mguni. My God! Daniel Barish is on another level. Daniel Barish is on a level of his own. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I won't be surprised if he, if he wins this one. But again, I'm thinking, because I'm, I'm looking back at the game here, yeah, um, yeah, Daniel Caudry. Is he out of practice to miss that mating pattern or what? What, what is happening? He, wasn't, he didn't seem to have been under time trouble either. Hey, yeah, ne? Yeah. No, that boy, that boy played a beautiful end game. Any, anyway, I'm talking about um, Kyle Leverton in the game against Jan Kasten. And, um, yeah, Miasta also winning against Daniel Kodri. And Luto finally getting a win. And see, round seven is just, just very, very interesting. Interesting round in the open section. But just for your information now, in the open, in the senior section, FYI, the current standing in the, in the open, in the senior section, we see Lyndon Bauer, Kennedy Master Lyndon Bauer leading. Out of the seven points, seven games played, he's on 5.5 .5 points. And is followed by Shabri Baudin, who's also on 5.5 .5 points. And Mark Lewis is on third place with um, five points. Provincial master Mark Lewis. And they see Metcalf, Alistair Metcalf is on four and a half points. And Justin Wilkin is on four points. Four points also for Roland Wielenberg. And three and a half points for Cyril Danisa. Two and a half points for Andrew Shute. A peer provincial master as well. And there's um a, and I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Yes, Cecil Olsen. Olsen is also on two and a half points. Two points for Andrew Sade, Sude, Saudi, Saudi. And then there's uh Glenn Wielenberg who's on one and a half points, and uh, Stephen Gallad Gallade on one and a half points. Whoa. So yeah, ne? Ah, so players need only a few points to get through with only a few games to go. Like there's like three rounds to go. I mean, they're around eight, nine, 10, 11, three rounds to go. Obviously, we still need to report on round eight because we don't see the results as yet. But if it's finished, the games are finished by the time I finish here. We'll just post them for you to see. Stay tuned for it because soon we'll be announcing to you, for you, your team that's going to be re representing you at the Olympiads. And I love what I'm seeing. The strength. You see now after this, you can't doubt the, the little Caleb because <laughs> if none of our top players in South Africa could beat him, we should trust him enough to send him overseas to represent us. That's it for me. Have a good evening. Happy Easter. Enjoy the Easter's. Yep. Good night.